Yo, what is going on guys, M Sosa here, and today, I'll be talking about all the new fall or autumn DIY recipes and how to obtain them in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, for all of my Northern Hemisphere players, you guys know that fall just recently started, and I would, and I would like to update you guys on the recipes and how to obtain them in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So yeah, fall is one of my favorite seasons, and I love to play, you know, the, the new fall stuff in Animal Crossing, and I'm still trying to get my hands on some recipes for the fall, so yeah. There are actually 28 seasonal recipes in fall, but there are not they are not all available to us yet. And that includes tree bounty recipes, mushroom recipes, and maple leaf recipes. But before we get into the recipes, let's talk about some of the materials that you can find throughout fall and the materials that you will need to craft these items. So all the materials that you can find in the fall include pine cones, acorns, maple leaves, skinny mushrooms, round mushrooms, flat mushrooms, rare mushrooms, and elegant mushrooms. Not sure why there are so many mushrooms, but Nintendo has not done anything wrong with the game yet, so I trust them. Yeah, so all those materials will be used to craft some recipes this fall, but as of right now, September 8th, you will only be able to find the acorn and pine cone from trees. The pine cones from seed trees, and acorns from the regular trees. So yeah. Now, as for the maple leaves and all the mushrooms, the mushrooms will be available starting November 1st, as that is the mushroom season start. And the maple leaf will be available shortly after that, arriving on November 16th. Mushrooms will spawn below trees, while maple leaves will be flying around, waiting for you to catch them with a net. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the recipes. First, we're going to be starting with the tree bounty recipes, aka the ones that you can get as of right now, September 8th. So yeah, the first one is the Tree's Bounty Little Tree. Now, Isabel actually gave you this as soon as you booted up the game when, when fall started for you. So yeah, you can craft it by getting six pine cones, four acorns, and one hardwood, it appears. So yeah. Next we have the pile of autumn leaves. And all these recipes can be obtained by popping balloons during the fall. So apparently they're all from balloons, nowhere else. So whenever you see a balloon, pop it. So yeah. The pile of autumn leaves takes three pine cones and five weeds. Next, we have the autumn leaf fire. You can get it by popping balloons, and it takes three pine cones, five weeds, and three tree branches. Next, we have the pine bonsai tree. You can get it by popping balloons, obviously. You know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna say that anymore, just because it's for every single one. It takes eight pine cones and five clay. Next, we have the tree's bounty mobile. Two pine cones, three acorns, and three tree branches. Next, we have the acorn pouch. It takes six acorns to craft, that's it. And finally, for the tree bounty series, we have the tree's bounty lamp that takes six acorns and four clay. Now, the next series of recipes is the mushroom series. Now, I do not think that, that you can collect these, re these recipes as of September 8th. I think that you can only get them after no November 1st, since that is when mushroom season starts, but I'll read them off for future reference. So yeah, we do have 12 recipes here, and first we have the mushroom wreath, 10 tree branches, one round mushroom, one skinny mushroom, and one flat mushroom. Next we have the mushroom screen, that takes three skinny mushrooms. Next the mushroom log, that takes two skinny mushrooms and one log stool. Next we have the mushroom table, that takes two flat mushrooms and six wood. Next we have the mushroom forest wall, that takes two elegant mushrooms, two round mushrooms, two skinny mushrooms, two flat mushrooms, and ten wood. Next, we have the mushroom lamp that takes one skinny mushroom and five clay. Next, we have the mushroom stool that takes two round mushrooms. Next, we have the mushroom flooring that takes one rare mushroom, two skinny mushrooms, two flat mushrooms, and ten weeds. Next, we have the mushroom wallpaper that takes one elegant mushroom, one round mushroom, one skinny mushroom, and one flat mushroom. Next, we have the mushroom wand that takes three skinny mushrooms and three star fragments. And finally, we have the mushroom umbrella that takes three flat mushrooms. Now, for the final series that we have, we have the maple leaf recipes. There are actually nine of these recipes, and these are the ones that I am most excited for. So, first we have the red leaf pile. It takes three maple leaves and four weeds. Next, we have the trees bounty big tree, not the little tree, we have the big tree. It takes five pine cones, four acorns, four maple leaves, eight branches, and four clay. Next, we have the Tree's Bounty Arch. This is the one I am most excited for. Four pine cones, five acorns, five maple leaves, and 15 branches. Next, we have the Maple Leaf Stool. It takes three maple leaves and three wood. Next, we have the Maple Leaf Pond. It takes 10 stone and three maple leaves. Next, we have the Maple Leaf Pouch. That takes six maple leaves. 
Next, we have the maple leaf wallpaper that takes 10 maple leaves and 15 weeds. Next, we have the maple leaf flooring that takes 10 maple leaves, 5 wood, and 5 weeds. And finally, we have the maple leaf umbrella that takes 7 maple leaves. So yeah, this wraps up our fall DIY recipe list. I hope that this video helped you guys out. Comment down below which recipe that you guys are most excited to get. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. That is all. Like, comment, subscribe for some more Animal Crossing content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.